Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to design an eSports logo without sketching, directly on Illustrator, starting from simple shapes. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and learn something from it. So, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any suggestion, just write it in the comment section. Have a nice watching. First step. Select the ellipse tool and make a big circle. With the eyedropper tool, give it a light color. With the ellipse tool, make a smaller circle by the bottom right side of the big one, like this. Maintain Alt and drag the circle to the opposite side. Maintain Shift and select the two circles, then press Ctrl G to group them. Now, select everything, then go to the Align window, and press on the Horizontal Align Center option. Select the Rectangle tool, and make a rectangle in the middle of the circles, like this. Select everything and go to the Align window. Then press on the Horizontal Align Center option, to make sure that everything is aligned. Select everything, then go to the Pathfinder and press on Unite option. With the Ellipse tool, make a new smaller circle on top of the right little one. With the eyedropper tool I give it the color of the background, you can give it any dark color you want. Move it and resize it to make it fit in the white shape, like this. Now, with the pen tool, make a straight vertical line. Select it, then with the Rotate tool rotate it to the right by 45 degrees. Let the line cross the top left quarter of the circle. Maintain Shift and select the circle with the line. Now, select the Shape Builder tool, then maintain Alt and drag the cursor on the external part of the circle to delete it. Now, take off the line. Now with the Direct Selection tool. Maintain Shift then select the top and left anchor points and drag the live widgets to make this corners rounded. Ok, we got our eye shape. Now, stretch it from the right side, until it goes out of the white shape a little bit. Now we will make a gap here to make the eye stands out. Select the pen tool. Maintain click on this anchor point and drag a little bit to the top left. Make the line round a bit around the eye. One click. Then go out of the skull shape. Maintain click and drag to the right, until you see that the new shape fits the eye. Now close the shape. Ok, I want to add a piece under the eye to give it a more fierce look. Select the pen tool, click under the eye here. Go down a little bit. One click. Then click on this corner and drag to the left to make it rounded. Close the shape. Then with the eyedropper tool give it the white color. With the direct selection tool select this anchor point, then move it a little bit to the left. Now, select the whole shape. Go to the knife tool. Then maintain Alt and Shift and cut it in the middle. Select the left side and press delete. Select everything, maintain Alt and drag to the left to make a duplicate of right side of the skull. Go to object, transform, reflect, then select the vertical reflect option, then press ok. Maintain shift and select the two shapes that we did above the eyes, press ctrl G to group them, ctrl X to cut them, select the white shape. Then press Ctrl F to paste it in front, maintain Shift and select the white shape, go to the Pathfinder window, press on Minus Front option, 
Okay the two shapes above the eyes become gaps on the skull. I want to make them rounded. Maintain shift and select the two corners anchor points. Then drag this little live widgets up to make it rounded. Select the pen tool and make a vertical line starting from the bottom, like this. With the eyedropper tool pick the background color, then swap the fill color to the stroke here. Select the line, then increase the stroke size to about 40 points. Then select the width profile number 4, to make it sharp. Adjust the position as you want. Then maintain Alt and drag it two times to make two other copies. Adjust the lines so the space between look equal. Select the lines, then go to Object, and click on Expand Appearance. While the lines selected, press Ctrl G to group them, then press Ctrl X to cut them. Select the skull shape, then press Ctrl F to paste in front. Maintain Shift and select the skull with the lines. Go to Pathfinder and press minus Front. With the direct selection tool, maintain shift, then select the inner anchor points, then drag down the live widgets a little bit to make it rounded. Select the pen tool. Make an anchor point in middle of the left side here, then make another anchor point up between the eyes. Then in the middle of the right side, then make one a little bit up under the top one. Then close the shape. With the eyedropper tool give it the dark color. With the direct selection tool, maintain shift and select the bottom anchor points of the nose, then drag the live widgets to make it rounded. Select the top anchor point move it a little bit up, then drag the live corner widget to make it rounded. Move the nose a little bit down. With the direct selection tool, select the anchor points of the teeth and move it down to make the teeth a little bit longer. Ok, our skull looks cool. Select the skull shape. Go to object. Go to path. Then click on offset path. Change the offset value to about 40 pixels. Then press OK. With the eyedropper tool give it the dark color. Again, go to object, then go to path, then press on offset path, and change the offset value to 45 pixels. Then with the eyedropper tool give it the white color. With the direct selection tool, maintain shift, then select this two anchor points, then drag it up a little. Now, select this anchor point and move it a bit to the left. Select the delete anchor point tool. Then click on this anchor point to take it off, then with the direct selection tool, Drag the handle down, and adjust it to make this shape in the same roundness of the inner shape. Select the big white shape, then with the knife tool. Cut it in the middle. Select the left side and take it off. Maintain Alt and Shift, and drag the right side to the left. Go to Object, Transform, then click on Reflect, choose the Vertical Reflect option, then press OK. 
Now we are going to add sun shadowing to our logo. Select the pen tool. Make an anchor point here, then go down and make another one here, then drag the handle down to make it rounded. One click on it, then add another one here, then drag the handle to adjust the roundness, then one click on it, and close the shape. Maintain shift, and select the skull shape with the new shape. Go to the shape builder tool, maintain alt, then click on the external part to take it off. Select the new shape, then with the eyedropper tool give it a shadow color. Now, maintain shift and alt, then drag the eye to the left. Maintain shift and select the two eye shapes together. Go to the shape builder tool, drag the cursor on the two right parts to merge it. Select the left part, and with the eyedropper tool give it the shadow color. Select the pen tool. Click on this anchor point, go down a little, add an anchor point, then drag to the left to adjust roundness. One click on it, then add an anchor point here, then adjust the roundness. One click on it, then go down, add an anchor point, then close the shape. Maintain shift, and select the new shape with the skull. Go to the shape builder tool, maintain alt, and take off the external part. Maintain shift, select the shadow parts. Maintain shift and alt, then drag to the left to duplicate it. Go to object, transform. Click on reflect, select vertical option, and press ok. Now move it to fit the skull shape. Ok, looks good so far. Maintain Alt, and drag the nose a little bit down. Maintain Alt and stretch it to fit the top nose width. Maintain Shift, and select the two nose shapes. Go to the Shape Builder tool, and drag over the top parts to merge it. Select the bottom part, and with the eyedropper tool, give it the shadow color. With the direct selection tool, select this two anchor points and drag the live widgets to make it rounded. Congratulations, we made our eSports skull logo. Okay then, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell to get notified whenever there is something new. See you in the next tutorial.